Good morning. Good morning. It is cruise day for Michelle and I yes. on the celebrity yeah. reflection. I always want to call it carnival. So I guess because we went on a carnival celebration, but it is cruise day. We're first time going out of the Port Everglades, mm-hmm. Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to hit that timer for you guys on embarkation day to oh, let yeah. you know how long it takes to go through the process. Um, as long as they, there's not a hold up, um, we'll do that. But it's our first day liking the uh, celebrity app so far. You yeah. can see everything several days in advance. Yes. You can't see that on Carnival. Um, Close up the menus. You can for see the that menus day. for each day, mm-hmm. the bars, what the cost is per drinks, the cost for food. I mean, it's absolutely great. Yeah. Love it so Love far. The app. Um, hey, come along with us. Carnival Cruisers here trying Celebrity for the first time. Have a good one. Thank you. See us on the ship. All right, Michelle's about to hit her timer here to see how long it takes us to get through Celebrity's Fort Lauderdale Reflection Port, Port Everglades. Just gonna hit the button right now. Let's go. We were about 20 minutes away from uh, Terminal 29 at Port Everglades. So it cost us about, with tip and everything, about 25 to 30 bucks. We took a lift. Um, it took us straight into uh, where they drop you off at. Uh, as you can see by the B-roll here, uh, this is a celebrity reflection to the right. Uh, there is a lot of walking in here during this process, but it goes by pretty quickly. We're getting ready to tell you how long it took. So this is extremely steep. So we got on the ship 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, thank you. Actually, our actually our muster station is on five and a half. So just make a if it let us make a right, just make a right. It's right here. Mustard station. Trying to hit the mustard station up. All right, so we went the wrong way. The only way to get up is to go midship. There's no elevator banks in the back, or at least they're not open today anyway. All right, so just got off on 10. library on 10 our rooms right around the corner all right this is 1176 interior on the carnival celebrity reflection as soon as you walk in there is a lot of space really enjoy this I mean as soon as you walk in you're not cramped um, sounds like they're doing some kind of talking going on now but 
just to let you see there's a lot of room as soon as you come in you're not going down a hallway like on some of the carnival ships um to the left of here you kind of got a little work area a tv um some pull out drawers you also have a safe and a fridge which they do charge you for everything you use in there so you don't want to use this stuff inside of there then you have a trash can another little work area here places the whole things decent sized tv look at all the room on the side again this is the interior you got a little cubby holes to the left, phone. You also have, it looks like some storage above, which is nice. And then you got a closet, full length mirror. Very nice and cool. This is a step up, nice bathroom. Um, and it does not have the curtain like I thought it did, which is great. Yeah, yep, no sticking to the butt. Storage here. You got some outlets up here. Nice sink. Storage, plenty of storage. Plenty of room here if you sit on the toilet and you're not cramped. Um, drawers here as well. Trash bin on the bottom. And then you got the t shower here, stand up shower. And the um, gel, soap, conditioner, wand. You know, typical cruise type. All right, this is 14. Again, embarkation day. That's the pool bar area. We're gonna go get us something to eat though at the Ocean View Cafe. All right, so Michelle's, we found a spot. Good spot, nice view. Um, Port Everglades. Michelle's gonna go get something to eat at the buffet and then I'm gonna go next. It's hard to get a seat back here, it is packed. But the buffet looks amazing when we came in. So we'll see how it is. Uh, very nice, Their people are always um, providing wash for your hands, to so wash your hands, keep them clean. It's happened two or three times already on the ship. But um, Embarkation Day on Celebrity, keep coming with us. We're gonna tell you what it's like. Beautiful ship so far. Uh, not the bright colors, a lot of browns and blues. Uh, but just nice, fluffy, friendly, if you know what I mean. I love these chairs. All right. Hi. Michelle's food here at the buffet. What all you got, Michelle? I had a little bit of salad. I got some um, pan-carved roast beef. I got some shepherd's pie. Potatoes are gratin. Um, mashed potatoes and gravy. And this roll that looks really good. Yeah, it looks good. Um, there's so many things to choose from up there. It's a little overwhelming. Overwhelming? Overwhelming. All right, so this is a salad here. Got some chicken, blue cheese. Lighting may be kind of bad in here to see what it looks like. But we loaded up on this plate with green beans, steak, grilled chicken, um, grilled pork, um, roasted potatoes, potatoes and gravy, beef stew, and green beans. Shells, yours all right so far? This is a some blueberry cake. Blueberry cake. This is strawberry raspberry. Yes, I don't know which. And this is some exotic roll. Exotic roll. And what's and that? And these are chocolate brownies. Yeah. All right. So we got an old fashioned. Michelle's got a Miami Vice, and we have killed our food. Not a big fan of the desserts. I tried this chocolate, whatever it was, was excellent. And then you can tell 
I destroyed the plate. What'd you think, Michelle? It's pretty good. It's certainly better than Carnival's buffet. Yeah. All right, we just got through eating, walking out to the Lido deck. Look at all these chairs. Nice. Still available, too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It is 115. So, Mass Bar is up there, Mass Grill. Does that hold about 34, 3500? Is it on that down? Absolutely. Yeah. They're spray painting the uh, grass green. I think they're going to be nice. So this is deck three, the main foyer area. Uh, they have a lot of activities here. They have games, archery, um, sculling, I think that's what it's called, the band playing at night, um, karaoke. But this is a really cool area, beautiful area, very elegant. Uh, there was a lot of music playing here, so I had to do a voiceover. Uh, cool, you know, rose uh, statue there you can have your picture taken with. Uh, but really cool area, they use it well. And over to the right of this is the uh, passport bar. We spent a lot of time here. Look how big these chairs are. Very fluffy friendly. We're still uh, exploring the ship and getting ready to meet our friends here and hang out and have a few drinks. All right, we're going to Opius restaurant on a four. We're gonna go with Peg and Artie, some friends of ours. All right, so prior to eating 30, 35 minutes, we're gonna to try to go to the Martini Bar. Yeah. Left. 
It is a hopping area. What you got over there, Michelle? I just got Caesar salad. Caesar salad? What you got? Some cocktail. You got the same thing I got, right, Pat? Caesar just salad. Caesar salad. All right. This is French onion soup. It looks beautiful. It does look really good. So you got prime rib prime up there. Prime rib, and there's a little bit of mashed potatoes under there. Yeah. Nice. Yes. This is ravioli. I didn't touch it. But Mike could get a picture of it. That looks good. All right, so Pig and Artie, Pig's got, what do you got over there, Pig? Pork chop, marshmallow, sweet potato, and some green beans. Looks really good. Looks really good. Looks like Artie's got the same thing I got, right? Yeah, three raviolis. Three raviolis, yeah, big guy. We're going to... You want some more? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the aftermath. Poor me and Artie's three raviolis. Hey, so don't let me fool you. I did get a second entree, not just the three raviolis, but man, we had this chocolate cheesecake, a cheese plate for Artie. Michelle had a, I think it was strawberry or raspberry cheesecake. Uh, all this was excellent. And then Peg got a caramel cheesecake. So all of the dessert was out of this world. So after dinner, we headed towards the casino to have a little fun. And as you can see this foyer area I showed you earlier, people are dancing, having a good time. I would get a copyright strike, so I had to mute the music on this. Uh, but then they got this shops area that's just outside the casino. One thing I like about this, you don't have to walk through the casino to get the other side of the ship. It is over to the side. Um, but yeah, the casino is not super large. Uh, but for this ship, probably comparable, uh, comparable to, to the size of the ship. Uh, a lot of room in between the chairs as well. After the casino trip, man, people are still partying in this foyer area. <laughs> We're old. All right, so it's day one embarkation. It's what, 10.40 at night. These old people are wearing us out. <laughs> we spent tired. $20 in the casino and played for about, oh, about an hour. Yeah. Hour and a half. Day. Went up to 100 for about 61 cents. Yep. We're going to go out on the Lido deck at night to see what it looks like. But day one embarkation is about over. Yep. Food in the MDR was really good. excellent. Really good. Um, we had good fun day so casino. far. Yeah. Old people wearing us out. Yeah. We're, we're in, down there dancing. They're down there the dancing 80s. with the 80s music, and we're like, ready to go to sleep. Let's do this. Keep hanging with us.
So it was late at night. Michelle and I uh, hung around the pool area and just enjoyed the um, the music and the purples and blues around the pool. We did walk back to the Sunset Bar. I wanted to show you what that looked like at night. They had this nice kind of emerald green glowing fill light system here. Uh, you had TV uh, movies you could watch under the stars. The alcoves are over here to the left. And then we check out the Sunset Bar and head back to the room. Hey, what's up, Lila? Hey, what's up, Lila? Too many drinks. <laughs> what's up, everyone? Uh, finished up day one and came back to the room, embarkation day, and Michelle, was you? I think she was impressed a little bit. I'm number, extremely number one, we got two chocolates instead of tail animals, and I like that. Uh, number two, the gentleman celebrity does twice a day uh, taking care of your room, and he noticed Michelle had a CPAP machine. We never told him that. He has taped down everything, added a, a cord for us. Uh, we didn't ask for any of it, and he also brought a thing of distilled water for Michelle. Um, again, we didn't ask for any of this. He just noticed this in our room. Uh, very impressed, right, Michelle? 100%. So, extremely impressed. Day one on Celebrity Reflection. Very impressed overall with the um, attention to detail from the staff here. Um, warned us that the there was a one hour time change uh, well in advance. Um, also, just in the MDR, very receptive to our needs. Uh, very being proactive uh, and then in this room our room steward we still don't have his name yet we got to get that uh, just awesome job right Michelle yes absolutely all right so day one's in the books definitely check out subscribe like comment future videos on celebrity reflection <laughs> I want to say carnival celebrity but celebrity reflection and our first experience with celebrity okay Thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.